we are couple of things like you know uh, various case studies that is being discussed by the tutors uh what strategies uh, they have used uh what uh, various uh, practical uh, websites are there where practical <clears throat> new research uh, are being uh, you know published so uh, so various kind of references they are given to us like you know this website is good that research website is good this research material so the references of books they are really good the references of websites which is given uh, through epat that is really good which i like the most uh, to go there and uh, you know get a sip of the knowledge of the new development that is happening not only in algo development but also in the stock market uh, that is really good part which i like the most in epat i'm basically a chartered accountant uh, qualified from icai indian chartered accountant uh, uh, association uh, and uh, i'm into indirect taxes tax consultancy but also parallelly i have a keen interest in stock market so uh, so i have my own setup uh, wherein i am doing trading uh, as of now uh, on a manual basis but uh, you know looking forward to uh, build up my own algo uh, setup So this is my journey. I am, I mean, you know, since seven years I'm into uh, tax consultancy, and since more, almost you know four plus years in stock market, actually uh, trading in it. Uh, about the hobbies and interests, uh, I like uh, swimming, and uh, uh, coming to uh, books, I like uh, self-help category books, and also reading a lot about uh, you know uh, finance related books. This is my liking. I am doing a lot of manual trading and all. So to save time, I I, I heard about you know I come uh, across about uh, the opportunity of you know automating the trades. So how to do that? That uh, that make me you know landed on the EPAT program, uh, and it may uh, to basically to save time, uh, automate the trades so that I can uh, focus myself more on. uh building more strategies rather than uh, uh, you know deploying my uh, valuable time into manual trades so uh, that you know uh, gave me a push to learn more about uh, algos more about uh, python uh, and other platforms where i can automate the trades and uh, unlock my time for uh, uh, developing more strategies doing more back testing so that's the that's the you know uh, start point of the journey so when i come come across about uh, uh, the algo part you know uh, in us stock market also a lot of uh, trades are happening uh, through algos and the manual traders are reduced and uh, uh, algo trading is a uh, fine tune where you know uh, you just put in the rules uh, uh, the emotions won't work over there uh, so all these things are there which uh, you know will create a eagerness for you know pushing or or adopt the changes go through it and then take a leap in your uh, career or uh, the journey of uh, trading in stock market uh, yes one of the ex epat i discussed with him uh, uh, what epat is what uh, uh, what they teach and how it is and the overall experience uh, so one of the ex epat uh, person i have uh, discussed uh, but before approaching him i uh, i search a lot about uh, online courses over google uh, so after evaluating i i i looking into the con- through the contents uh, i find epat to be you know uh, good and uh, also getting a good feedback from the exp uh, ex epat uh, uh, alumni uh, so from through him i got a more confidence like you know i should go for this course uh, definitely it was a challenging task for me because uh, especially when you are not coming from a coding background uh, especially from a uh, uh not from a commerce uh, especially from a commerce background wherein you have learned a lot about uh, taxes accounts uh finance but not about uh coding uh so learning python for uh, coming from this background space strictly when you are chartered and you have done cfa level 1 cfa level uh, cmt level 1 so wherein uh, coding and all was never been taught to us Uh, so jumping to uh, python learn it and learn the coding is definitely a uh, it's all all together new journey for me 
so obviously it took a lot of time uh, and i deployed a lot of time to learn python uh, and coming to the coding part uh, coding was not little new for me uh, i will uh, i will upfront be honest that uh, during my article ship periods around 7 years back around uh, at the time i also learned coding uh, in with respect to excel macros so i know the coding how it works how what <clears throat> what actually the basic concepts of coding so that thing i knew uh, so vb uh, in vba i i did coding so i know that uh, how the machine uh, you know language uh, works and how to interact with them uh, so i knew some part of it that what kind of uh, fundamental things uh, that can i will have to do with python uh, but in python yeah definitely it's a uh, different language not a, like a vba macro so there was fundamental thing which i know and uh, uh, since i knew the fundamentals uh, that what i will have to do in python learning so that give me a bit confidence uh, that yes i should go for it uh, since it is a change and i should adopt the changes coming coming to that uh, management part uh, definitely you uh, someone from my background will have to deploy more time on the weekends uh, i used to stay at home i used to uh, give more time because obviously a uh, person with my background will have to give more time uh, than an average uh, person who is from a uh, you know a coding background or who knows uh, java c++ or python uh, i will say more or less i spent 8 hours on weekend saturday sunday to learn python and weekday also i have deployed uh, uh, means, uh, i i i I didn't used to get too much time from my daily job, uh, so weekday was a bit difficult. But on weekend, I used to spend a lot uh, to, uh, you know, get a good hand on Python. So sometimes what happened, you know, uh, uh, in E part, uh, the tutors come and they will teach you. Uh, when they are teaching me Excel and all, that was easy for me to grasp because I had a lot of I had worked a lot on Excel and. uh their basic concepts what they have explained about options and futures and all that i have already dealt with so it was easy for me to grasp it but then uh, the space where or the speed where they have went through that give me a fair idea that uh, you know uh, if someone is fresher is learning the excel from them or learning the concepts of futures uh, options call and put from them uh, in that span of one hour or three hour of uh, the lecture uh, fresher cannot get that thing very easily Uh, so for that uh, any fresher will have to first understand what is call what is put what is excel what is the formula in that what is min max uh, if uh, netted if uh, this kind of you know the uh, uh, functions in excel if i'm using it if any fresher who is new to excel and he is uh, getting or uh, sitting in the lecture of the uh, the tutors and he is understanding it then definitely is not going to get it in 3 hours so that give me a idea that what kind of uh, you know speed that i will get in uh, when Uh, in the lectures when i am going to uh, taught uh, python so for that uh, when uh, the uh, I, i never attended live lectures of uh, epat i never attended uh, that is my first thing because i knew that in 3 years i am definitely sure that i am not going to uh, get it in one go everything so every every time i used to go for recorded lectures i used to see the recorded lectures uh, the 30 minute of recording i i pause it over there and go to internet and i used to uh, go and deep dive that what what this particular formula is what that particular uh, library is what that particular uh, in that library what is that formula what is that uh, uh, thing how to use what to use what about that what are the parameters in that particular uh, uh, function so that i used to go and google it and then deep dive and then that give me a basic understanding okay this is what it is and this is how it works Don't try to read book i i had i had a book i referred it even in epad book of python is good you have guys have a issued a book so uh, uh whenever this lectures are there right i used to pause it i used to go on internet i used to search on it i used to see various videos youtube videos on that particular library or a function of that library uh, then uh, refer the book of epad apart from that there are many books of uh, on python which are there you can go and refer it Uh, and epad blogs are also good that I, uh, they are good that you know whenever you are a fresher and you want to uh, understand the uh, libraries and uh, you know lots of 
uh, indicators you want to use at a one place epad uh, blogs are really good to refer that i that i will say even during the learning period i had i i used to deep dive on a uh, lot of blogs and uh, uh, epad blogs are also good there are a couple of things like you know uh, various case studies that is being discussed by the tutors uh what strategies uh, they have used uh what uh, various uh, practical uh websites are there where practical <clears throat> new research or uh, are being uh, you know published so so various kinds of references they are given to us like you know this website is good that research website is good this research material so the references of books they are really good the references of websites which is given uh, through epad that is really good which i like the most uh, to go there and uh, you know get a sip of the knowledge of the new development that is happening not only in algo development but also in the stock market uh, that is really good part which i like the most in epad so benefited like you know obviously it was a start for me to the python journey so for me uh, i epad was the first course which i have interacted of uh, means i have taken the course uh, uh, formally uh, and it was a start to the python journey i am still in the process of uh, developing my uh, uh, my code uh, of my daily uh, trades which is little uh, customized which i cannot find in other broker like any broker and all so i will have to go it on python only so epad is a platform which i have started with uh, it was good uh, for knowledge grasping thing it was a good part but now i have to i digest the knowledge and i have to go on actually execution part a bit faster pace that is on me now uh so benefit from epad is like it is a i can say it is a, a good start to me for the python uh, journey for algo development if uh, you want to develop your own algo task or you want to make a career in algo uh, then go for uh, the courses like epad epad is also a good start to go with but before that i will suggest just have a basic knowledge of python first get a good hands on python uh, once you go through that then you will really enjoy 6 months and dedicated 6 months i think will be sufficient working means having a hectic job schedule and doing doing epad and that also fresher in python it's a bit difficult you may not be able to get a fruitful result from that it will take a longer time not the 6 months you will become a very pro in algo and python it will take time to digest it but yeah uh, if you are doing e part then i will suggest to have a dedicated time to uh, at least 4 days a week if you are a fresher 5 days a week you can dedicate over here and if it, you want to make algo as a career then obviously uh, uh, you will get a lot of placement platforms are there which you uh, e part is very uh, they are doing their uh, their part placements so they have facility uh, so if you are dedicated doing that as a career development that is also one of the good part of platform uh, to go with uh, as a career also it is good uh, if you want to develop your own desk uh, it will be little time consuming but you will have to dedicate your time for that uh, so it's mix of both uh, if it is for the career then epad is good 